So there was a few of you asking if I was going to show you guys some more specific information on exactly what went into designing each weapon or what I learned from the experience. And while I wasn't originally planning on talking about this, there was actually a few important things I learned while creating this pack that I think would probably help you guys out. So here's what I found. First is you should really know what your complete workflow is going to look like ahead of time. How much detail are we modeling in? And how much detail are we texturing? Now when it comes to me personally, all of the small details are always textures. So to show you what I mean, here's what my character's glove looks like raw. But here's what it looks like after texturing. So you can see that literally all of the detail except for the base shape of the glove is textured in, not modeled in. So what that means for me is my raw 3D model only has to generate the basic shape of what I'm trying to convey and everything else is going to be textured later on. So if we look at the templates for each weapon and we turn off all the modifiers, you can see that the true base of each weapon is reduced down to an absurdly low poly general shape. And that's because we want to have an extremely non-destructive workflow that primarily relies on subdivision to get nice smooth shapes out of the basic low poly foundation. Now the cardinal rule that I use the most is to try and get the most shape you can out of as few poly polygons as possible. Because we have such a low poly base, it's very easy for us to make big adjustments to the shape and design without needing to wrestle with a bunch of vertices. Now something else that I recommend you do is take advantage of every mirrored access you possibly can. For example, here we have a sword blade, and in most cases, we want the sword to be perfectly symmetrical on both sides. So as I'm sure most of you know, if you use the mirror modifier, you can reduce your workflow by half if you just mirror one side to the other. Which means anytime we make an adjustment to this side, it will automatically get projected to the other side. But what a lot of people forget is, in most cases, the shape of the sword is not only symmetrical from left to right, but it's often symmetrical to the front and back. Which means you actually don't even need to model the back side of the object because we can mirror that as well. So if we turn everything off, you can see we're really just working with this. This is what our model really looks like, which means that we're using 25% of the object to model 100% of the object. When we combine it with subdivisions, we have a lot of control with very little amount of input. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is how to properly mirror your UVs while using this non-destructive mirrored subdivision workflow. So at the bottom of your mirror modifier, you will see this thing you can open up that has checks for U and V. Now what I do, when I'm done with everything, I will disable the front and back so that it's only mirroring left and right. And then down here, I'm just going to check the U box. So now when we press apply, the object will be mirrored from left to right, and it will also do the same thing for our UVs. Then from here, all we do is grab another mirror modifier, then we turn on the front and back. But this time, instead of checking U, we're going to check V. And now when you apply it, it mirrors our object forwards and backwards, but on the UV map, you will see it has mirrored things from top to bottom. So if you set your UV maps ahead of time to only take up 25% or one quadrant of the map, again, you will be able to map 100% of the entire UV as well. So those are the two most important tips I have that I learned while I was making all the objects for my medieval weapons pack. I got one more important trick for you, but it's kind of a tangent, so I'll teach you that in the next video. Regardless, hope that helped, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.